Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Eric Bullard. Welcome and thanks for checking out this video. A couple of months ago, I made this video right here that shows how to do a simple pop-up text effect. Well, at the very beginning of that video, I added a little something extra pop-up text animation to grab people's attention and people really notice. Check this out. This guy asked, bro, can you send me the preset? Bones Unboxes asked, how do you do that pop-up animation on your starting sequence? This person asks, where do you get the text popping? Peter K, all the way from Norway says, he needs the video for the text popping animation keyframing. It looks awesome. And Isaac B says, they've watched my previous videos and now they wanna know how I put the pop and text effect. You asked for it and here it is. So today we're talking all about text animation. Whether you wanna know how to animate your text just like this, or if you want it to just pop in like that. And that, I'm gonna show you how to do both. Let's get this thing started. Have some fun. All right, everybody, let's jump right into Adobe Premiere Pro. First, you're gonna to need to get your text ready to animate. So first, you're gonna need text. You add text by pressing the letter T. Now, if you want to do a lot of text and line it up nice like I have here, you can click the link at the top and watch my first video on creating an easy pop-up text animation and that will explain how to do that real quick and easily. I've already got my text done and on the timeline right here so we're going to skip all of that part. Now let's animate the text. This is simple and anyone can do this. First let's pick out one of the longer text clips to animate. I'm going to pick this one right here. It's a little bit longer and let's go up to effect controls. Now that we have the effect controls open, we're going to click the stopwatch button right next to scale. This is going to make your first keyframe. So let's make sure it's at the first frame of the text clip by dragging it all the way to the left. Now let's go forward a frame or two. I'm just going to go one frame forward and let's make the scale 120 or 125. It just depends on how big you want it. I like 125 here. Now we can go forward another frame and decrease the scale just a little bit. Let's make it 120. That will give it that quick jump pop effect that you like to see. To finish this animation, let's add one more keyframe and scale it to 110. Now let's slide it all the way to the right side of the clip. This will just make the text slowly shrink as the clip drags on. That looks pretty good. Now to add it to all the other text clips we have, we're just going to copy and paste it. So under effect controls, left click on vector motion and press control C to copy. Then on your timeline, highlight the other text clips and press control V to paste the effect. Let's see what we have so far. So today we're talking all about text animation. Whether you wanna know how to animate your text just like this. Oh yeah, you gotta admit, that is pretty awesome. Now, before I move on to that second text animation, I'm gonna ask you to please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing if you've learned something new today. All right, now let's get right on to that second animation. For the second animation, let's create a new text graphic by pressing the letter T. Now you just click in the window and type whatever word you want. I'm gonna go with the word boom. Now let's open the Essential Graphics tab. You can go to Window and Essential Graphics if yours isn't already open. Now you can scale your word and make sure it is centered vertically and horizontally. Okay, now let's animate. Make sure your text clip is selected and let's open up the effect controls. Now let's hit that stopwatch to create a keyframe next to scale again. This time we're going to drag the scale all the way down to zero and drag the keyframe all the way to the left. Now let's go forward six frames and scale up to 130. Now move forward a couple of more frames and scale it back to 100. This is gonna make it pop in nicely okay. out of thin air. And to make it disappear, we're gonna do the same thing, but reverse it. Like. So we're gonna scoot to the right some and add another keyframe by clicking the diamond here. We're gonna set this keyframe at 100 also. Let's go forward only two frames this time, scale back up to 130. Now go forward five or six frames and scale it back to zero. Now highlight all the keyframes, right click and select ease in if you want to make the animation look just a little bit smoother. Like that. Once you have it animated, let's move it up and over. I'm gonna put mine in the top left of the screen. 
you can do this by using the position tool. Now let's also rotate it just a bit. There, that looks pretty good. Like that. It's just that simple. You can do this, everybody. Thanks for watching. Now watch some of my bloopers and click on a video if you want to watch another one of my tutorials. See you in the next one. You want to animate your text just like this. Hopefully this is the last time. What am I doing? Hey. Take like 44 or something.